Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community driven trading education. Hello everyone checking in on gold. Let's start it off with the dollar because I feel like the dollar relevancy is picking up in terms of the inverse relationship we are seeing to commodities. And if you've been following our videos, we were watching this bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern back at the start of the new year, 2017. And we ended up with a bearish break and it's been nothing but lower highs and lower lows since we broke that neckline of support. Well, just this past day, we saw an hourly bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern play out. And I drew this before the break occurred. Shoulder not exact there, but we did end up breaking that neckline of support and we did end up rejecting on the back test from it and then seeing further downside. So we are pulling back in the dollar. And again, I do believe that this is allowing for the upside that we're seeing in these precious metals. Looking on the daily time frame for the dollar, this bounce that is, is occurring is not significant at this point, but we do have some higher lows and we did get a higher high by breaking 97.78. So that does shift momentum in the sense that we are anticipating higher lows and higher highs to continue. So I'm looking at support of 97.05 and the must hold level is 96.32. Bulls need to break 97.87 to continue. So just need to be cautious and aware of what the dollar is doing if we are playing these precious metals. And we're seeing the weekly time frame. The precious metal bulls and minor bulls are liking the fact of this big upper wick on the dollar on the weekly time frame. But just keeping an eye on things because this bullish MAC decross could be closing in if we trade sideways and build a base of support down here. So the dollar is becoming a lot more relevant in my opinion. That being said, we do have gold. This weekly time frame here changed my perspective on gold and just noticing it earlier this week where we've got our higher low pattern and we formed a solid bullish reversal candlestick right off that level. So I do believe we are seeing the makings of an a ascending triangle on the weekly time frame and that has our horizontal resistance line with our double top and our higher low pattern showing a tightening range as we head up towards that level so this is the channel that i'm watching between the uptrend support and the horizontal resistance and if this pattern were to continue playing out over the next few weeks the bulls would make a move back towards the upper 1200s and it will be a clear bear break if we do lose this support. So the bulls are looking to confirm this reversal candlestick this next week and hold off this bearish MACD cross. And if we cannot confirm it, we will likely see this bearish MACD cross follow through. So the weekly time frame is very relevant on gold. And checking the daily time frame to see things, the bounce that is occurring at this point, we're coming straight off the low. So we can anticipate a lower high to be set on this bounce sometime early next week and then pull back and we need to form a higher low compared to 1240. So if we form that higher low and we have this weekly uptrend line here seen on the daily time frame now. The bulls want to maintain this level and try and see higher lows and higher highs making their way back to the upper $1,200 range. And again, it's going to require, in my opinion, the dollar to see weakness and to see no bounce follow through and to head back down towards 96.32, the lowest price we've seen, in order for the gold bulls to head back up to the 1200s. So looking at the senior miners here, we've had a nice end of the week with some solid bull volume gap ups and the bulls held those gap ups. We're on the verge of a bullish Mac decross and we're still forming lower highs here. But the scenario that we currently have is the senior miners has a more bullish weekly chart and the junior miners has a more bullish daily chart. So time frame of your trade should dictate who you're playing. We've been playing the bull miners, the senior miners more significantly over the past couple of months, but that has shifted in the past few weeks with the junior miners seeing some upside on the daily chart. So here on resistance, I'm looking up at 23.42. And in terms of support, again, we're coming off of the low. We're coming off of a six-week low. So we have to set a lower high, in my opinion, and then pull back and set a higher low and then get a higher high for this momentum to shift to favor the bulls because we do still favor the bears. And I do believe that no matter where we top out here in the short term, it will just be another lower high on the daily time frame. So GDX on the weekly time frame, very clear 200 week support has held a couple tests and very clear middle Bollinger band resistance has rejected the price four or five times. So that's the range that I'm watching 2146 support, 2304 resistance, update those levels at the open this coming week. And the 100 week support is going to be lining up with the 200 week support pretty much in about two weeks 
is when those levels will be right on top of each other. So I'm watching this channel on the, the weekly time frame. Basically, the weekly gold and weekly minor chart is where I'm putting the focus of my attention. And here on the junior miners, we can see the daily chart is much more significant in terms of favoring the bulls. We have our high of the bounce, higher low, higher high, higher low, and the bulls are trying to get a higher high by breaking 3505. If we cannot break 3505 early next week, we will look to pull back and form a higher low. Anything above 3213 is a higher low, keeping these bulls in control. So again, just comparing GDX, much different look on the daily chart, but let's compare these weeklies. This is GDX weeklies. And look at GDXJ, the junior miners, much more significant bear trend of lower highs and lower lows. So there's definitely differences in terms of the time frame. Still watching the same channel here where we have bounced off the 100-week support multiple times. That's lining up already at the 200-week support. So those supports are just under 31. And in terms of resistance, the middle Bollinger Band and the 50-week will be watching those, 3505 and 3727. So if you're looking for short-term upside and day trading opportunity, perhaps the junior miners are for you. If you're looking for longer-term trades and looking you know, a month out, then you're looking at these senior miners. And that's really, the again, the time frame of your trade dictates which time frame you're putting more weight into in your analysis. So that's what we've got heading into this next week. Bears, or the I should say the gold bulls, want to see the dollar drop down further and lose the momentum on the higher low bounce that we are seeing play out and they want to see that move of gold back up to the 1200s so i appreciate you watching we'll continue to check back in and i hope you have a good rest of your weekend